Dortmund beat PSG in the semifinals. Dortmund going to the finals of the Champions League. We're here to talk about the game. I posted my predictions like last Monday or last Sunday. And I predicted Dortmund would get to the final. I said 3-2 aggregate. Obviously, Dortmund won 1-0 both legs, 2-0 aggregate score. But Dortmund, man, they got it done. They got it done. So credit to Dortmund. I'm excited. You know, I don't really want to give my thoughts on Dortmund and their chances in the final un until we know it's Real Madrid or Bayern in that final in Wembley. I need to wait. But for Dortmund, solid performance. Solid performance over two legs. Professional. The only thing I'll say about Dortmund, because this video is going to be more about PSG, but actually, no, let's give some love to Dortmund. Dortmund, Hummels, Schlotterbeck, Rayerson, Ian Matson, solid performance over two legs. Gregor Kobo with big saves. Sabitzer and Emery Chan showing up. Sancho, the Sanch. To think that this guy eight months ago was an outcast of United, having mental health issues, playing with such confidence. Wow, Adeyemi, Fulkrug, Julian Brandt. The heart of this Dortmund team, guys, is Julian Brandt. Julian Brandt, fantastic. What a performance. What a performance as the Dortmund number 10. Dortmund, serious work was done over these two legs. Eden Terzic coached a great game in both games. Over the 180 minutes of this tie, Eden Terzic, great coaching, great tactical setup. And they got the approach right. And who would have thought Dortmund would have got against Mbappe, Colo Moani, Usman Dembele, Concaro Ramos, and all these guys. Who would have thought they would get two clean sheets? M Mats Hummels, man of the match in both semifinal ties. Legendary performance from Hummels. Hummels, that's a legacy game for Hummels right there. People will look back at Hummels and say, yeah, at 35 years old, that guy did that. And let's be honest, every time Hummels plays Mbappe, he low-key pockets that boy. He low-key pockets that boy in boobies. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. So for Dortmund, fantastic. Good to see one of the German team Ger Bundesliga up, man. A German team, Leverkusen having one of the greatest seasons of all time. They're probably going to win the, the Europa League. Dortmund is in the final of the Champions League. And Bayern in an hour and a half time could potentially make it. But that's a big if. They're playing Real Madrid. That's a big if. But chill, chill, chill. It's still a dub for the Bundesliga. So for Dortmund, congratulations. Very impressed. The only thing I will say for this Dortmund team, you got a little lucky. You got a little, little lucky that PSG did not bring their shooting boots over the two legs. Because I'm going to be honest, as great as people were talking about this Dortmund performance in both legs, people seem to just be forgetting that in the first leg, Fabian Ruiz missed two point-blank chances. Hakimi missed a point-blank chance. Usman Dembele missed a point-blank chance. Dor PSG could have easily had four or five goals in that first leg. But to play devil's advocate to that, Dortmund could have also had four or five goals. So both teams didn't bring their shooting boots in the first leg. But in the second leg, PSG hit the post like five or six times. You guys, they're calling them post St. Germain. Not Paris St. Germain, post St. Germain. They hit the post five or six times. So for so for so And Mbappe missed a clear, clear opportunity. Clear Warren Zaire Emery. So Dortmund, don't. Be cautious. You're not this perfect team that had a perfect performance over 180 minutes. In that final, you have to be way more defensively compact because I'm going to roast PSG right now, but we need context. With context, PSG with just some shooting bo boots and converting just half of their chances could have easily had five or six goals over two legs. So I'm not going to act like this was a perfect Dortmund performance, but Dortmund showed great mentality, great guts, Aiden Terzic's tactical plan was great. They were solid defensively in terms of staying compact. Just PSG was getting all these chances, hitting the post and missing them. And in the end, man, 2-0 aggregate score. I even said it. Go to my predictions. I said in the second leg of this tie, PSG is going to miss a bunch of chances. Um, and that I said they would miss a bunch of chances and, and they would get knocked out. So credit Dorman, but for PSG, man. How do we how do football fans keep falling for the PSG project? How many years in a row have we sat here and said, Yeah, the PSG project is over? Yeah, the PSG project is done. Yeah, PSG, no future. This is done. That, that was their last chance at the Champions League. Yet we found them in a semifinal, thanks to Barca breaking it up in the quarterfinal and choking. We found the enemy set in the semifinal. We called them the favorites. Everyone thought Dortmund were the underdogs, and they just failed miserably. 
miserably they fail. All the chances you had, you couldn't. How can you not have your shooting boots on? Mbappe, this is your team. Yes, those were great signings in the summer. They made great signings in the summer. PSG made great. I won't sit here and act like they didn't. PSG made great signings in defense, midfield, and some g- good signings. Excuse me. I just fucking, oh my God. And, and, and great signings and attack with the solid manager, Enrique. Enrique is not a trash manager, yet you, Mbappe, this is your team. You asked your friends to come to this team. You couldn't just show up? One goal, Mbappe. At least one goal so we could sit here and say, oh, Mbappe tried his hardest and his team let him down. But no, you couldn't even score one goal. You hit the post twice. Twice. I, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. You know... Mbappe, do you want to go to Real Madrid? You're 25. You have zero Champions Leagues. One Champions League final where you flopped in that Champions League final. Only World Cup performances. You guys, it's looking scary for Mbappe's career. So for PSG, man, really, what else is there to say? I'm sorry, this is it. I'm not going to fall for the PSG project anymore. Next year, you will not hear me saying, oh, you know what? I favor PSG in this knockout tie. Oh, you know what? I favor PSG to get to, get to the final. I will never say that again. Until they get to another final, I will never, even if Mbappe's on 100 goals, 100 assists on the season, and they're in a semifinal against like Anderlecht, I will not, I will not back PSG. Post Saint Germain, LSG, the Paris Pussies, the Caviar Cunts, the Baguette Bastards. Do you want me to keep going? The S Cargo Escorts. Do you want me to keep going? I'm not going to back him anymore. So the future for this PSG team is I don't know. Because if Mbappe goes to Real Madrid, what does this PSG team do? What does this PSG team do? I'm not exactly sure. I'm not sure what it's going to take for this PSG team, for this club, to win the Champions League anymore. I'm not not sure because, first of all, when this PSG for the last 14 years, the goal has been the Champions League. They've only made one final. The goal has been the Champions League for the last 14 years. Don't get me wrong. Before that, it was to establish PSG as a top club in uh, Ligue 1 in France. Okay? Now... You have all this money. You've pumped all this money into this team. You have all these players. And you put a semifinal performance like that. Yes, I understand you had the chances. They had the chances. Don't get me wrong. But at times, their play was so slow. There was no urgency. My issue with this, especially, you know, you could excuse Dortmund's performance. No, you could. I meant you could excuse. Excuse me. You could excuse PSG's performance in the Sigdan Liduna because you guys, Dortmund's Champions League home record is fantastic. City can go there, Real Madrid can go there, and they don't win. They usually draw. Dortmund's home Champions League form is, is and, and record is fantastic. Oh my god, my hair is disgusting. So you could excuse that for PSG, but to go back to Paris and it's only one zero. It's not like it's three four five zero. At 1-0 to go back to Paris and play as flat as you did, as slow as you did, as uninspired as you did. You guys, Dortmund, you know, PSG didn't start showing some urgency until Hummel scored that goal in the second leg. No urgency. So you need to go down 1-0 at home and then you show urgency, ramp up the pressure? Because you saw after they started ramping up the pressure, all these chances hitting the post started coming. So that's just that just shows you this team mentally is not there. They shouldn't need to go down. They shouldn't need to have warning shots to pick up their game. They should have came here from minute one yesterday, from minute one to minute 90, played with high intensity, putting the pressure on Dortmund, trying to break them. Instead, they started slow. Pass, 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 backwards, pass, backwards, pass, shot outside the box, forcing a chance. Too slow, too lethargic, too static. And in the end, you pay the price, PSG, for that. You pay the price. You paid the ultimate price of missing out on a fantastic opportunity to get to the Champions League final. Fantastic opportunity. So, PSG, man, I'm not sure what else we could say about this team. I'm not sure I'll ever trust them again. And Dortmund owns you. Dortmund, congratulations to Borussia Dortmund. Great to see my German brothers getting to a final. Hopefully Bayern, hopefully... 
well, this isn't a Bayern jersey, but hopefully Bayern can pull through. We could have another De Classic or final. Um, and that would be funny. If Bayern gets to the final, 11 years later, Dortmund and Bayern would play in an all-German Champions League final in the same exact stadium at Wembley that it happened in in 2013. That would be wild. That would be... You can't script it. You can't. And I think I want that so bad. But in an hour, it's 10.50. In an hour and 10 minutes, Real Madrid and Bayern are going to clash. Join my watch along if you're still watching. Thanks for watching, guys. Toodle pip. Peace.